Yes, so I don't come again. Come again on the killers now. Up, up. Now we do this on the go. My name, Narebo Mark. You can put TV for the front. The national attempt of this platform, maybe La Babroom, Brun La Bar. I don't bring a bogey news come. The news, maybe say it kill depression. Anybody when you get stress, when you get depression, if you listen to this La Babroom, Brun La Bar station, the depression will vanish. It be like that Gary where they put water and sugar and honey. After you don't drink and finish, you will sleep off. The news when I carry come, and it is my people. When I don't say I talk and yesterday say they don't say the date aside, maybe say the one looking into Peter will be an article uh AP. Now, when they don't announce them, they never give us exactly the real date. And they can set seven judges for one side. They can put them for one side. Say now these judges now they want to judge the case. Now they can go hide their name, make people not see their names and their faces. Now Nigeria enter street two, now Nigeria enter. Uh, Twitter begin they ask question why they don't bring these people name out make we know now the CJ of Nigeria Kukuma run go bring their names out now make I not too much talk I will leave her now make una see all the names of the judges when one judged the case of article and Peter B for Supreme Court against Tinubu and APC and Mahmoud the Ani chairman when I will see the names of the judges now many things they did when I will hear now I be this so as you watch her make sure say you share this video make this video go viral make the whole world see up see you don't settle they don't start again low they could watch the video the video now be this so not all this party now when the Supreme Court initially announced the date to begin the hearing of the appeals of Peter Obi and Atiku they withheld the identities of the seven judges they had chosen to form the panel and when questions were asked they said they were doing so to protect the judges. Certainly, the wicked runneth when no man pursue it. If the constitution says A and you interpret it as A, why would you have to fear? Even the politicians will run out of options if they know that even when they evade you, the next judge will still interpret A as A. Judges are to be feared and revered by the citizens because they hold the power of life and death on earth here. But when they themselves become afraid, then they have soiled their hands. But after so much pressure from members of the public, the CJN decided to release the identity of the seven judges who would preside over Obi and Atiku's appeal. Their names are Justice Musa Datijo Molid, Justice Uwani Musa Abba Aji, Justice Lawal M. Garba, Justice Helen M. Ogunji, Justice I. N. Saulawa, Justice Tijani Abubakar, and Justice Emmanuel Ajim. As soon as the list was published, well-meaning Nigerians began digging into the archives, you know, to find something on these judges, to know who they really are, to see if there are aspects of their personal lives that point to the fact that justice is about to be compromised. And believe me, a lot was found. As a matter of fact, some of their findings have become major topics of discussion amongst Nigerians right now. But before I show you the major findings on the judges, let me quickly show you how Atiku responded to Tinubu trying to block the FBI documents from being released. Look at how the papers reported it. Atiku's team blasts Tinubu over attempts to stall release of FBI files. Former VP Atiku Abubakar's media team has bashed President Bola Tinubu over his fresh attempts to block the release of the details of his criminal investigation by the American Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. In a statement signed by Atiku's special assistant on public communications, Frank Shaibu, the team described the attempts by Tinubu's lawyers to stall the release of the documents just as they unsuccessfully tried to do with his academic records at Chicago State University. Reacting to this development and ruling over 200 million people. Shaibu said, I think it is time for all Nigerians to express serious concern about this man, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. If at all that is his real name. Some members of Tinubu's family, led by Rafiu Tinubu, a former Lagos State Head of Service, claimed they don't know him. Some schools he attended denied him. He has now kept mute over the primary and secondary schools he attended. And he has refused to reveal the identity of his father and even his past. He refused to come clean on details of his settlement with American authorities amid his drug trafficking probe. Now, an attempt is being made to reveal the true details of the criminal investigation, but he has gone ahead to try to block it. His surrogates, led by Mr. Festus Kayamu, had said during the electioneering that the drug investigation launched against him back in 1992 was a tax-related matter. So if that is the case, why is he afraid to let the FBI release the documents? This is indeed shameful. The Article 8 called on U.S. authorities to see themselves as the last hope of Nigerians since most Nigerian courts had blocked all attempts to expose Ola A. Tinubu. He added, Tinubu is a con man. He has been able to deceive Nigerians by keeping his past a secret. Sadly, every attempt by well-meaning Nigerians to expose him have been blocked by the courts. Nigerians are now looking up to U.S. authorities to do the needful so that they can at least have the true information on the man who is presiding over their lives. We call on American authorities not to be persuaded by this con man. Enough is enough. His criminal files must be released. Oh!
and that was Atiku through Frank Shai Boudier, asking the U.S. authorities to help Nigerians not to compromise, to release all those files so that the truth can be known. And now, let us begin to look at what well-meaning Nigerians, after their research, found on some of the judges. Look at this first one I'm going to take here now. It says, very disturbing and disheartening that Justice Helene Ogunwumiju, who is on the Supreme Court panel handling the presidential election appeal, is the mother of Kennedy Ogunwumiju, San, who is one of APC's lawyers at the tribunal. Oh, she is also a mother of an Ondo state legislator on the platform of the APC. How do we expect justice to be delivered when all the appeal court justices and those of Supreme Courts are in bed with Nigerian politicians and political parties? Nigeria has become a society characterized by lack of adherence to legal principles and an effective justice system, making it difficult for citizens to trust the justice system. Not even difficult. We don't even trust them again at all at all. So this is the justice that was written about, Justice Helene Ogumumiju. She is one of the justices on the panel, one of the seven justices on the panel to look into the appeal of Peter Obi and Atiku. And this same justice, her own son, biological son, was on APC's team of lawyers at the presidential election petition tribunal. And after they gave the victory to her son's team, they have now brought the appeal to the Supreme Court and they put the mother on the panel to, look, to do the appeal. So what do you think the mother will do? And this same woman, her son, is a legislator in the Ondo, Ondo State House of Assembly under the APC. So literally the whole family is feeding from the party. And now you have brought the fate of the party to the table in front of the woman. What do you think the woman is going to do? How can anyone in good conscience put this kind of woman on this kind of panel?